All right, this is how to create a four switch uh, startup for your multi-SIM circuits. And so we're gonna start by going to our sources. So we need a VCC power. We'll put that there. And then we need a digital ground right here. And this was under sources. And we'll put that right there. All right. Now we need um, some invert, uh, we need the switches. So let's go to switches. And that is under basic. And you will find switch. And you want the SPDT. Looks like that. Click OK. Bring one of those in. I'm just going to bring one in because now what I'm going to do is rotate it 90 degrees because that's what I want. And then I can copy that and paste it three more times. So that I have my four. So now they're all lined up the right way. So I didn't have to uh, flip them all. Okay. Now the way this is going to work is I'm going to, I will connect all the ones on the right to ground. So that way I can keep track of what's what. I'll put the right side to ground just like that. You could do it either way. And then I'll connect all the left side to power. Like that. So now I've got that all set up. And so now I'm going, now one thing you'll notice these all say space. That means if I hit my space bar, they flip around, not always in the same way. What I can do is this. I can right click on this, click on properties. And now I can, instead of space, I can say uh, A. And if I wanna make this real easy, Watch what I can do. I can go A. I can do A, S, D, F, and just use the four keys that are next to each other on my, whoops, keyboard. So I'll just do this real quick. A, S, D. And you can make a match, like uh, for the majority vote, you can make them P, V, S, and T. Makes it real easy to know which one's which. Oops, almost went too far because I was thinking that. And so now I can, you'll notice I'm hitting different keys and I can go through everything really easily. So that works really well. Um, so now I've got that. So now I need to place my inverter. 70, so under TTL, 74LS, I want the 04, I bring it in. Click the A. Now again, I'm going to click cancel and close because this isn't facing the right way. So I rotate 90 degrees clockwise and I'm going to put that here. All right. And then I can just copy and again, paste it three more times. You will notice I'm not connecting it to my switch because I need to have some space there in order to put my other wire like you'll see in just a second. So what I now need to do, I can click up here and I'm going to bring a wire down, down a little ways. Whoa, let's try that again. The wires can be a little tricky. But I'm going to click on that, come down to about here and I double click. Okay. And then I take this, come up so it's connected, bring this down, double click. Double clicking lets me end my junction right there. Move that up and connect. And, and just connect these all up. And you can see it's really not too bad if you know what goes where. And that's why I'm making this video. What you can also do, I can change the, if I change my color, I can make say all of my uh, inverters green. 
or I can make them different colors. Sometimes it's better to, I do this where I make all of them different colors so that I can tell automatically if I'm on A, B, C, or D. So you can do whatever you want. Uh, you could make this two shades of green, two shades of red, two shades of purple, two shades of blue, and that way you automatically know what's connected to what. Now, so that's, that's, whoops, so that's it. I'm done. That's actually, that's everything you need. And this will now work. Now, if I want to, a couple of ways that I can uh, start a circuit here. If, I, if we were doing, for example, the majority vote one that you're working on right now, uh, 74 LS21 is a four input AND. I put one of those right here, just to have one. Now, if you remember the first term was P naught VST. So the way I would connect that, top one, goes to, this is my P, V, S, and T. So P naught, V, S, and T. And you notice how whatever, that's why I said, whatever color I make this, it carries over to, it can, well, if I did it before, it, it'll carry over. So it's really, it works really well. So that would be for the four input. If I was doing it with two inputs, which is what you're eventually gonna end up having to do, then I go back to my 08. Put one here and another one here and another one here. So now to do four, Connect that there, like that. Those are anded. And now here's my four input. And now we do the same thing. I can have my P naught V S and T. And you can, you know, extend these when you get really big circuits so that you've got lots of room. But look how nicely lined up this would be. So you're gonna end up with, you know, with a majority vote, like eight of these lined up, and then they're all or together, and they come up in the end, just so that you know what that is. If you go to indicators, probe, whatever color you want, and that's gonna be my final thing is that out there, which will be coming off of an or gate, which is a 32. 32? Oh, not 132, 32. So, uh, there we go. And if all I had were two terms, oops, close that, close that. Um, a circuit could look like that. That's P not VSC plus P not VSD, but that would be what it was. If you run out of room on the paper, one last thing. If I go to edit and I go to properties and then I click on workspace, I can change this. I can change it. If I go to a D size paper, this is huge. Now look how much space I have to build my circuit. So you never run out of space as long as you're not having to print it out. If you do, that can cause some problems but since mostly you're gonna be uploading it or pasting it in a Word document, this works fine. So that's how you do the thing.